Hello from the farm, near Toowoomba. We're back on the alpaca farm at my mum's place. And this time we've brought up the van because we are intending to do some fixing of this situation. Some major works. Not really happy with how this functions mm. as a, a camping and storage vehicle for us. So we're trying to come up with something that allows us to store things under the bed or just completely remove the bed easily for when we want to just use it as a cargo van. And also maybe convert it into a couch. At the moment it's perfectly set up for two people who don't want to be near each other. <laughs> but you can't access the storage if you're on the bed, so uh, we want to be able to use that under bed storage. So we've pulled all of the stuff out of the van and I cannot believe how much detritus, shall we say, has accumulated in here over the years. Have we even looked at that stuff in the past? No. <laughs> Were you aware of what was in there? <laughs> some of it, no. The storage boxes here have had some camping stuff that I bought with the van in it that we've just never even looked at, so. It's time, it's time to sort it all out. We have taken some ideas from another video that I've seen, we'll link it below, but we've adapted them a little bit for what we already have in here. At least that's the plan, we'll see how we go. We've spent all morning in here with my dad, trying to figure out exactly what we want to do, and now we've just got to hope it comes together. So, let's get into the destruction phase. Market. We're good. So we decided to just change around what's already here to create more room in the middle. We're going to put this wall hopefully about there, just this side of the wheel arch. And then we can still use this as a supporting brace for the side of the bed. Hopefully that piece of wood square. <laughs> We think that there were screws buried in the carpet here, so we're just trying to get through to them so that we can unscrew this piece. Hey, there we go, just pop it over. Hey. Now just use nice long screws. We've already made a mistake. We didn't account for a little bit of wood that's poking out down the bottom of this box. That means we've already cut two things too short. So now we're going to have to find a way around that. There's this little piece here that sticks out further than the top and we didn't realise. So now when it comes up against this, um, we've cut this piece and this piece too short already. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to pop the whole box out, trim the box, and then slide it in there. Well, that's the theory. Fingers crossed. We're making some progress. We've managed to at least get the size right of the, the cross beams that come across. <laughs> now we've just got to get the side of the whole box shortened down to the right size. I mean, this is a pretty unique problem to our construction here because you're very unlikely to have a, a box already in your van like this that you need to shorten. If you don't have a box and you want to do it a simpler way, that video that I was talking about before has an angle iron on the side and some little feet to support it. And that's probably the way to go if you don't already have the box going on. We've done about as much as we can do for today, I think. We're losing the light, but we've got one side pretty much done, except for the lid. And the second side is well on the way, so we'll come back to this tomorrow. Can't we wait. need to get some supplies tomorrow anyway, so. See you then. Hello. How you doing, girl? All right, it's time for us to go back to work, I think. She likes a little pat, but she won't admit it. She always acts like you assaulted her afterwards. How's it going? Absolutely perfect. So I cut this one here first. Look at this, Donna. I cut that piece of wood first, and then I just went straight from there, headed towards that line. And look at it. This saw is very good at keeping things straight. You're gonna get a handsaw after this. A handsaw? A saw hand and a handsaw. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Today's plan is to finish off this second box and then we're going to head over to Bunnings, the Home Depot of Australia, and see what we can find to finish the project. And just like that, the two boxes are done, save for their lids. So now, 
It's shopping time! most of it, but we are going to have to try another Bunnings after this. Apparently no job is complete without a beer at the end of the day. <laughs> we made a little pit stop. We all set now? Uh, we're set for the end of the day, yeah. Doesn't mean we're finished though. Off for another trip to Bunnings. Yeah, that's right. We gotta buy some more board, so we have too many boards. <laughs> oh, well. Alrighty. We've got our 900 by 600 to add to our stash of wood that we got at the other Bunnings. And this will allow us to have, this will allow us to make some mistakes too. We've got a, a little bit too much. Slippery <laughs> stuff. Home time. We've been having a bit of a conference about how big we want to make the slats of this bed. So the idea is we're going to make a bed frame that kind of interlocks so that you can pull it out and be a full size bed or you can push it back and it can be a couch. Apparently the optimum width for a slat is about seven centimeters. So we're running off that. Jesse's made his first cut with the circular saw and um, it didn't go super smooth at the end, but luckily we were able to just saw off the little bit <laughs> where we stuffed up and hopefully we'll do better next time. But now to cutting the rest of the slats. We've cut the slats for about a third of the timber that we have and we're losing the light again so we'll come back to this tomorrow. Good morning! Jesse's been out here this morning working on some more sawing while I've been inside doing such exciting things as washing some clothes. We've been away from home for like a week and a half now so it needed doing. How are you going out here? Yeah pretty good. Using my terracotta counterweights. Got my uh, cloth mask, professional PPE <laughs> and sunnies. A bit dusty the MDF. Lucky there's high winds to carry it away. You're getting through it, nearly there. Yeah, now it's going good. Cuts like butter. We had to peel up a little bit of the carpet in order to get to some of the screws that were hidden under here in these boxes. So now I'm gonna have to sand it back down so we can glue it again. I only have a fine grade sandpaper to work with, so wish me luck. I'm gonna cool that close enough. We've got to shorten down this box lid now. So we're peeling off the carpet. So hopefully the circular saw will be able to handle it. Down to the final rip. Hey! Let's go there. Things are starting to come together with the box lids here. We've got some of them into place. We're just doing the finishing touches on them right now, but we've got one functioning one right here. Ta-da! It's a one hinge wonder because we didn't want to remove the hinges. They were too hard to get to. So the hinge is a little off kilter down the side here, but you know, it's in and it works. It's we good enough. <laughs> Jess is just finishing off the touches on another one of the lids and soon hopefully we'll be through them all. The handy thing about repurposing these boxes as our side rails for the bed frame is that we can now keep a little bit of storage here which is good for getting rid of those little annoying things that float around in a van. A reupholstery might do the trick. <laughs> we have made a bit of a mess of the carpet hey. All right. <laughs> The boxes are more or less assembled except for a little bit of gluing where we may or may not have made a wrong cut with the saw. And we've just glued down all of the spots of the carpet that we've ripped up. Check out our weights. <laughs> Actual train track. 
That glue ain't coming up. But now I think it's time to call it for the night and let that dry overnight so that we can get onto the actual making of the bed frame tomorrow. Good morning! It's New Year's Day and we're back in the van working on the project. We've only got a little bit of time before lunch though because it's my grandpa's birthday so we're having a lunch for him. Happy birthday Papa! And at the moment... Well, I'm thinking about lighting the whole thing up because I'm sick of it. <laughs> Just jokes. These matches make a great spacer. We're laying it out the compressed way and uh, totally risking it that when we pull it out to finally make the bed after it's all drilled in that these parts will make it past each other. It looks like they will. I didn't do them too wonky. But yeah, I'm just spacing the wood with matches because the matches ha happen to be the exact size that I needed. We need about that so that everything can run past without getting stuck when we pull it out. The thinking with this sort of setup is that every second slat is connected to a different set of beams. So there's four steel RHS beams here. And on these two, We'll connect every second slat, these two, every other slat. And then we were just able to pull every second slat away to make a full size bed that'll come to here at least. If we have a mattress that can do couch and bed by it being in three parts and we can fold it up, we just push the bed in and make a lovely couch. And then when we're in uh, bed or couch mode, we can store things underneath it instead of before the boxes came in and blocked all of the space So we couldn't do that and we can also just completely pull out this frame because it won't be screwed in there or anything And get it out of the way to have the whole van's worth of storage when we need it Jesse's just been drilling some pilot holes for the screws and then we're going to do a little bit of countersinking as well so that the tech screws sit nicely in the wood and also because our screws really should be a little bit longer than they are so we're going to compensate by countersinking them a little bit. That's the next bit that we have to do. So when a drill bit is made for steel, it doesn't even, it's not even aware of MDF. It just, uh, look at that, I can just make mincemeat out of it with my hand. I don't even plug it in. Great. Here. Yeah. Quick rip work, you're taking the tablecloth off. <laughs> the moment of truth. Will it come? Oh, thing of beauty. Oh, only for a bit. Oh, oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, where's this one? They're not parallel, Ooh. obviously. Yeah, we're gonna have to re, re, uh, rethink. Gosh uh, dang it! For a moment, it looked good. Because we know they're the right, similar distance from each other. Damn, that's, that's, that's a bit of a shame. It's lovely when things just work, but I guess today wasn't that day, so we're gonna have to try and figure out how to fix this. <laughs> Okay, we've readjusted all of the boards to be a little bit further apart and hopefully that is going to hide all of our sins. Let's find out. It took Ready two to seconds. <laughs> We haven't got the mattress for it yet, so there's gonna be a bit of a time jump. Stay tuned for the final reveal in the future. <laughs> so it's a couple weeks on from when we were filming the rest of this video and the mattress has finally arrived, which wasn't gonna be a big ceremony until we started trying to get it out and we're, <laughs> we're really struggling. They've got this thing wedged in here so tight. So here we go. <laughs> By the way, my sister just happens to be here. This is Carly. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Alright. 
I like Bye. objects and not my forte. <laughs> Buy a mattress on eBay, they said. It'll be fun. It'll be really fun, they said. <laughs> We're gonna know. <laughs> that releases you're just gonna fly back into the TV. <laughs> I think we've got this under control now. <laughs> we finally got the mattress in the van. So at the moment, we're obviously in the bed format. To change it into the couch format, we have to fold this up, push it back. Obviously the back door would be shut, so that would really help me out there. <laughs> and then we push this back. Ooh. Pretty nifty. Should we actually shut the back door? <laughs> and ta-da, we have a couch. When we're just chilling in the van, oh, it's even a recliner. <laughs> when we're just chilling in the van before we go to sleep and we can then access suitcases and that sort of thing that might be pushed here, we just pull them out a little bit and get into them. And of course these boxes are accessible at this point, so any like toilet paper, cleaning chemicals for the toilet, anything like that, we can put in these boxes to store it away. And then come bedtime, we pull this out. And then the mattress comes out. And we're ready for a nice sleep. <laughs> Could use a sleep right now. We've been doing a nasty van project today. I don't think we're gonna film that one. It was to make the van nicer to drive. Anyway, I could use a nap after that. It hasn't been much fun. And then sometimes, because we deal in music equipment, we need to take the whole bed ensemble out altogether. So then we just fold up this mattress, take it somewhere else, collapse the bed, ratchet it together, stick it against the back of the van, and we're good to go. We've got the entire van of storage space back, which is very handy. That's it for this video. I hope you got some good ideas on what to do with your van to convert it into something that's workable for you. If you'd like to see more videos from us, please subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.